fishy folks. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Guys, before we get started, demolish that subscribe button, uh, boop, the notification bell, and then check out michaelsfishing.com. Now, as you know, recently I visited a local fish store. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, uh, formerly Captain Nemo's Aquarium, and uh, now it's called Natural Pet. It's in Norristown, Pennsylvania, and uh, Mark De Niro is the guy that runs it. And Mark, uh, I know from all the local fish clubs, he uh, does a lot of auctioning, he does a lot of uh, speaking, great guy, super knowledgeable. Now, um, I follow them on Facebook, I'll have a link in the description below. I'm fine. <clears throat> Now I follow the, the store on Facebook. I'll have a link in the description below for you guys to do so, especially if you're local. Um, Mark puts a lot of uh, uh, things that are coming in on order and uh, you know things that have come into the shop, he puts them on Facebook so you can see. And about two weeks ago, um, he put out uh, like a note that says um, he's putting a big order in from a local breeder, I'm sorry, not a local breeder, because the breeder's in Czechoslovakia. Putting a big order in to a breeder in Czechoslovakia, and one of the things that... <coughs> one of the things that were on the list that uh, piqued my interest were Japanese blue double sword tails. I used to sell Japanese blues uh, with a lower sword, so every now and again they pop a double, um, but I've since sold out of those, and... Um, trying to bring the colony back but it's a little bit difficult right now um, because uh, I'm getting a lot and don't have any sword tails right now so I don't want to sell them as lower sword tails if they don't have any sword tails so I was pretty excited when I saw these double sword tails and uh, Mark sent me a quick video and in the video they looked more red than blue and he told me they look a little more red than blue now but they'll probably color up as they you know get used to their surroundings well I went there, as you know, and I did a fish store tour, and I bought some guppies, and they're in this bag right here, and we're gonna plop and drop them, and then we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see what they look like in the tank. And I gotta be honest, in the tank, in the shop, they looked more red than blue. Still gorgeous looking guppies, just not Japanese blue. So I'm gonna have to figure out what they're called, or call them Japanese reds, or maybe I'll call them samurai reds, or some fancy name that I can charge a lot of money for and uh, make everyone happy, including me and my wallet, because you know, I'm here for the money. No, seriously. <clears throat> um, I don't know what I'm gonna call them. Maybe Samurai Guppies, we'll see. But um, they're hard to see now in the bag, but they look sort of like the Tanaka Maple Leafs, that coloring at least, that, that red. They do have double sword tails. They do have a really nice dorsal. Um, the females are bland as can be. They're the most bland females I've ever seen in any guppy. But the males are pretty nice, and I'm hoping they'll color up a little bit more in my tank, and you know, I'll feed them some, some good food, and hopefully that'll help them out. But let's, uh, let's plop and drop. Now, the young man at the store who bagged them for me did a super nice job. Uh, it's funny, because I walk into the store, and I had spoken to Mark about doing a, a fish room tour, a fish store tour. And he said, um, yeah, that's fine. Just ask for Matt. I'll text him and let him know you're coming. Um, I don't have my man knife, so I gotta use a razor blade to, to take care of this rubber band. Woo! That was close. Um, and Matt wasn't there. He had gone to lunch or something, I don't know. And so I was told to ask for Cheryl. And Cheryl gave me a little bit of attitude, but I loved it. It was fantastic. And it turned out she's super awesome. And uh, apparently she told Mark that she gave me a little bit of an attitude. And he's like, that's fine. He's from Jersey. He's used to it. Which I thought was pretty funny, but <clears throat> it was all fine. Ugh. So uh, the young man that bagged these, I didn't get his name and I feel bad. But um, he double bagged them for me. He found the, <coughs> he picked the guppies I wanted. I'm fine. Um, I, he, I've never seen a technique of rubber banding that he used which is why I don't know how to simply take the rubber band off, but um, as you know, when I ship, I don't use rubber bands too much to break and leak, and that's never good, so. 
Yeah, this thing is like, uh, I don't know what it is. All right, we got it. So I got two trios, so two males, four females. Um, they're actually pretty big. I'm pretty, pretty impressed, so we'll plop them in the net. Make sure we get everybody. And then uh, I like to put my hand over the top just in case. We're gonna put them in this Pleco tank over here. Uh, I don't think there are any other guppies left, so that's good. And uh, boom, drop them in. Now this tank doesn't have any cover for them just yet. Oh, there's a betta in there. That's okay for now, but not with fry. I'm gonna have to get that betta out of there. Darn it. I forgot I put the betta in here. Oh, he's being a jerk already. Stand by. Boom. Betta goes in this tank. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There's a couple little tiny guppy fry in here that uh, one of them's got a jacked up back, so if he eats that, that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, that's a good place for him. All right, fishy folks, so we're gonna let those fish get acclimatized, and uh, I'll be back later, all right? So stand by, I'm gonna get dinner. I'm making T-bones, T-bones on the grill, because they're on sale, and my six-year-old loves T-bone steak. How awesome is that? All right, fishy folks back from dinner so about an hour and a half later guppies are in their new home there's the two males Japanese blue double sore tail from Czechoslovakia now <clears throat> I don't know if he was shipped the wrong thing he ordered the raw or uh, he has the name wrong or they're gonna color up more blue but I don't think they're gonna be more blue um, my Japanese blues looked very different than that. So <clears throat> those are the females. You can see how plain they look. I mean, really plain. Even worse than like those females. Those are uh, red cobra females. At least they have colorful tails. These females have nothing. So, But they look pretty big, pretty plump. I got to drop some uh, java moss in there and uh, go from there. Tank's a little dark because I have Catopolis in there for the uh, for the Pleco. Somebody suggested I try that, so I'm gonna try it. These are the common Plecos I got. Um, one of my subscribers said, hey, you want some Plecos? I'll ship them to you, and if you like them, you can pay me. If not, you don't have to pay me, so. They were in rough shape when I got them. I only lost a couple, though, um, and so I paid them. What I thought was a fair amount for wholesale plecos. <clears throat> anyway, fishy folks, that's it for this uh, fish unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com and uh, have a great day. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday. No, it's probably not gonna be Wednesday when you see this. All right, fishy folks. Ah.